guys, what's going on? It's IO2 on a Friday, so you know what that means. It's Freaky Friday. Today, we're talking about the most shocking ways to die. I'm Dave Wapple, and let's get real. So in our last episode, which is our Spaced Out Thursday episodes, literally we do themed sort of stuff, it's pretty cool. I asked you guys, do you believe that we went to the moon? I'm pretty shocked by some of the things that you said. <gasps> but for this episode, considering we're talking about death, what is the worst way that you could think you could die? Let me know down there. I mean, burning alive is pretty bad, but drowning sucks too. Then again, being eaten alive by a bunch of scorpions, uh -uh, not really for me. So let's move on to the first one. Talk about dying from a celebratory cannonball shot. John Kendrick was the captain of the Washington during the American Revolutionary War. In 1974, on December 3rd, he went to Honolulu to help out two ships in distress. These ships were the Jackal and the Princely Boo who were fighting off local forces. After the battle on December 10th, the Jackal fired a celebratory salute shot off to the Washington. The only downside is one cannon was loaded with a grape shot and it ended up killing the captain and several crew mates. Ouch. Now let's move on to the next one because you know what? This could be the best way to die if you're Irish or Michael McCrudden. We're talking about drowning in beer. Oh yeah! In London 1814, a bunch of vats exploded containing thousands of gallons of beer. Unfortunately, eight people were killed, but that's probably due to drowning or maybe even alcohol poisoning. Hmm. But here's an ironic one. Talk about dying after reading your own accidental obituary. Marcus Garvey was a Jamaican politician in 1940 when he passed away. The newspaper accidentally published his obituary and didn't have anything nice to say, and when Marcus read that, he was like, oh my god, and had two strokes and dead. But if you think that's ironic, talk about this one. Imagine dying at a lifeguard party. Tuesday, July 30th, 1985, the New Orleans Recreation Department was celebrating their first season of having nobody drown. However, at the end of the party, a man by the name of Jerome Moody, he was 31, he died and was found in the pool because he drowned. Ironic, because they had four people on duty. What were they doing? Huh? But Number one, probably the most ironic and shocking way to die is this dude right here. Clement Valdegam was a lawyer in 1871. He was defending Thomas McGeehan in a murder case. He was trying to prove that a guy by the name of Thomas Myers accidentally shot himself. And you know, Clement thought, hey, let's recreate the whole thing. So he pulled out the gun, fired, but guess what? It was loaded. So Clement unfortunately passed away from his wounds, but the kind of interesting part is he managed to get the guy off. Cool, I guess. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Dave Wapple, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it class, keep it on the flip side out there in the real world. If you guys want to watch any more of our videos, be sure to check them out right there because we do theme stuff. It's pretty awesome. Later!